When I first met Tom, I saw an erudite, charming, gracious Englishman. He's quite maverick in the way he does things, but he he's not a leader in the sense of a boss, he's a leader in the sense of innovation. His intellect is so extraordinarily powerful that he always believes that there is a solution. He's certainly a one-off, there won't be another one like him. I was encouraged to speculate and encouraged to philosophize, really. It, opens avenues you would never know existed before. Something new. Without Tom's original approach, the whole new drinks, new flavours, uh, new bottle shapes, new labels, all this kind of thing, which we take now for granted, would have happened a different way. I was concerned with any kind of drink and making drinks that taste nice. Malibu and Bailey's, for instance, taste delicious. And then I went to Hennessy and learnt a whole other side of the business. And when I came back, at James's request, to United Distillers, I was right in the middle of the whiskey world and stayed there doing whiskey for the rest of my life. Most of my career has been working with Tom Jago wherever I was. I always brought him with me as the creative genius. I trust him totally, I rely on him, and, and, and I know that whatever he does will be superb. He'd just come back from South Africa where a friend and colleague had got a chain of very small luxury hotels. The last word, they're called. Um, the last word in luxury is the idea. They, he wanted us to bottle up some whiskey for him to give to his customers. And we said we called it the last drop and bingo, you know, it was so obvious. James and Tom had some years ago discussed the idea of creating a blend rather than simply being the Rare Spirits Hunters model, which we'd really explored to date. It's really an acknowledgement of what he's done and what we all love about him, which is this gentle, creative genius who, who never hogs the limelight, but likes his six o'clock drink. There were some lovely creative opportunities to do things a little bit outside of the natural framework of the last drop distillers thus far, from the name, the label, the presentation, and the celebration of Tom as a, as a figure within both our company, but also within the industry. So Tom's blend will be a reflection of him, and a reflection of what makes a great blend, but particularly what, in his view, makes a great blend. It will be old, it'll be delicious, and it'll be as. The bassoon by itself is quite interesting, but lacks variety. Um, a blend, which is the entire band plus conductor, is a different matter, can be as complex as you like, and it's a great pleasure, great joy.